Malone, who uh, is not in action tonight. What's going on, Bam Bam? Uh, unfortunately man? not. Uh, I have a, a knee injury, uh, nagging knee injury. You know, I'm, I'm looking to come back soon, but uh, just wasn't ready to compete this time around. But I tell you what, I'm so glad to be here. Front row seat, SWE Fury. Doesn't get a whole lot better than this. And, uh, coming up here tonight, we have Edge Stone, who we talked about uh, before, in action uh, here tonight against Demos. And let me say, I've tagged with Ed Stone. We've wrestled each other yeah. before. The guy's tough. He's trained by the one and only Booker T. So let me tell you, the guy's one hell of a competitor. That's right. And the uh, competitors all night long fight. here. Don't forget our man of his hey. That leather strap Stone. match. Not only will there be straps in the ring, the ring will be surrounded by wrestlers with leather straps in their hands, ready to take action. But right now, speaking of action, let's get back to the ring. But have you ever seen the intensity since you've been in the wrestling business of Max and Moonshine? No. And, and Is someone going to get really hurt tonight? And I, I think so, Kevin. I really think so. I've, ever since I broke in, uh, Moonshine and I have I've been really close. We've, we've traveled to the United States together, and that is that's one incredibly intense guy. And Max will match his intensity. I'm really looking forward to that one. Well, coming out here to the ring with Damos yeah. is Teal Piper. She, of course, daughter of the legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper. And soon we'll be graced with her own segment here on the show called Teal Fit. And ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Teal Piper, he hails from the House of Demons. This is Demo! You and I have talked before, Kevin Sullivan, about the physical specimen that Damos is. He looks to me like a young Bill Goldberg. I mean, uh, Goldberg started out and became a house of fire. Don't be surprised if this doesn't happen here. And under the guidance of Teal Piper, Wrestling is in her blood, you know that for an absolute fact. And the fashion from the Northwest is obviously in her blood. <laughs> Apparently so, yeah. I've got to say, Kevin, you mentioned intensity earlier, and I've got to say, I think Demon is the definition of intensity. I mean, look at this guy. Is that somebody you'd want to bump into in a back alley? No, I don't think so. No, uh, I always do the test. You and I are coming out of uh, an adult beverage place when we make the left hand turn he's walking down one sidewalk the other sidewalk's clear you I, can walk down, down the other side <laughs> yeah you can walk down yeah. his i'm gonna take the other one absolutely i don't know about you guys but i'm, I'm gonna do everything i can to make friends with the dude <laughs> all right ed stone met his match possibly here tonight i don't know he's a great young competitor he's in in there tonight against demos though and uh, ed stone uh, I've got to say, I've, I've really enjoyed watching this young man here in SWE Fury for the last few months. And, and I'd like to ask you something, Ben. As a young man, when you're against somebody like this, how much intimidation factor is there in the match? I, you know, no matter how many reps, how much experience you have, Kevin, I think there is some form of intimidation, but the second you walk through that curtain, that intimidation has to go out the door. You have to focus on the task at hand. Look at that draw kick. He had to jump about eight feet in the air on that one. Let me ask you this. Can everybody let it at the door, or do some people carry it to I the think, I think, you know, I, I think that's a special quality, Kevin. I think. I, I don't think everybody can leave it at the door. Um, you know, I, I try my best. I've wrestled guys like Charlie Haas and uh, some of the toughest, best competitors in SWE, and I have to just leave that intimidation at the door. And, you you know, you wrestled the finest against Charlie, and Charlie is a man to be reckoned with. You know, I mean, I don't think there's five people in the country, whether they're amateur MMA, boxer, wrestler, Whatever, I think he's a real world champion. You did a hell of a job against him. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. And, you know, watching that back, I heard you say, the kid won, the kid won. Well, I, I thought the kid won, too. But, hey, may, maybe next time. 
Well, let me point out that there is no wasted motion in any match in the heavyweight division here in SWE Fury. Every single competitor is in here. They're trying to work their way up in status and stature so that they too will have a chance at that heavyweight championship that Charlie Haas now holds, just as you did before Bam Bam Lone. And it may be a while before you're able to to get in the hunt for that title again. But I tell you what, whenever you feel better and you're you're ready to go, we saw a really hard fought match with you and Charlie Haas. Yeah, Bob, I'm you know I, I'm already itching, sitting here just watching is killing me. But I, I, the second I'm ready to go, I promise you, I'll be a, a, you know, a force to be reckoned with. Well, I don't want to put any negative thoughts in your head, but you know he'll be going for the knee. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, Charlie, Charlie wouldn't be the first one to do that, and, and I know he's going to do that, so I just got to prepare for it. Good. Got to keep him off of that knee is what you have to do. Interesting move there from uh, Edge Stone, which seems to have some serious impact. Uh, but there, Damas goes for the the knee now and uh, causes Edge to, to miss whatever he was going for there. Oh, a big running. I gotta kick. give Stone a lot of credit. He's basically very good, but he has a tendency maybe to make too many rookie mistakes. Stick with something. Uh oh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Oh my goodness, there's that pedigree. And uh, then now one, two, and three. Demos wraps this one up. Hey, let, let's not take anything away from Stone. He did a hell of a job. Yeah, absolutely not. You know, if he didn't have that one slip there towards the end, you know, this one could be going the other way. But Ed Stone, he is a younger guy. He, he hasn't been doing this quite as long as some of the other guys in the back. So, you know, I, I think his potential is through the roof. I do too. And there she is, very proud, Jill Piper of her Demos here. I Chuck. have the exact same trip off that Jill does. Do you have the exact same one? Yep. Are you sure she didn't get into your stash in the back and borrow one? I saw her digging through your bag, Kevin, yes. earlier. I think that might be your shirt. Yeah, she might have. I think she's got a dip of your snuff, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. More great wrestling action coming up in just a moment. Bam Bam, thanks for joining us, sir. Absolutely, anytime, guys. It was a pleasure, Bam. Thank you, sir. SWE Fury is solid in-ring competition. Unleash the Fury every week right here. Uh, in the ring now, though, we see Renee Michelle here to uh, Try her hand at that women's title. We have a title match on our hands here tonight as Christy James defends that women's championship. It's been a great night. We've seen a lot of champions, and uh, this is just like the icing on the cake, isn't it? Yes, sir, absolutely. And Christy James, here she is, our women's champion on SWE Fury. You get us like that in the morning, don't you? Oh, yeah. When you get up? Straight out of bed before I've had my first sip of coffee. My wife hates it. Sometimes it wakes the neighbors. <laughs> but that's because it's oversold in the kitchen. You're that's selling tickets. Yeah, yeah. They, they stand around that window over the sink and wonder what's wrong with that guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the SWE Women's Championship and is sanctioned by the SWE World Directors. Introducing first to my right, the challenger. She hails from Washington, D.C.
There she is, our women's champion, Christy James, with that beautiful red belt. Around the waist of Christy James, and uh, there you see it. The belt, and uh, Christy, definitely a fan favorite here in Irving, Texas, where we have sold out Southern Junction. The crowd on hand, having a great time here tonight, as Christy James is... Uh-oh, here goes Renee Michelle now. Both of these women have seen a national stage before. This isn't the first time. Well, Renee brought her own little faction of fans, didn't she? She certainly did. I got to ask you something. Christy's from Brazil. Yes. Does she have a background in judo and MMA? I don't know, let's uh, watch with that in mind and see if we start to see some of those moves come out in, in her uh, in-ring work here because, uh, you know, thinking about that and not really knowing if there uh, is a background in that, it might be kind of good to see if any of that gets incorporated here tonight. You know, the uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu was started in Brazil. Full of great information, Kevin Sullivan. I, I love that. That's good to know as we watch uh, the Brazilian uh, in, in uh, Christy James here. Work the arm now. Of uh, Renee Michelle, both seem to be uh, pretty equally favored here by this crowd not in Irving, Texas. As you look on across the uh, ring there in Southern Junction to the facade of the world famous Alamo, uh, which of course is uh, on the main stage here at Southern Junction, a great venue, a great venue that you can uh, attend concerts, uh, see national level stars on the stage of uh, a variety of different kinds of music. And of course, as you know, a great venue for wrestling. Wow, as the hair is used there to bring Christy James down, Renee Michelle taking a little shortcut there. Well, is it a shortcut or did she take a smart move and take advantage of Christy? Well, you know, as we've been told before, especially when uh, Brittany Nicole is up here calling the action with us, that hair might as well be a tool when you wear it as long and loose as these uh, ladies do in the women's division here. NSWE Fury, Christy James trying to work reverse out of that there, it looked like, but being caught up in it again. Turn it into an arm drag now, and uh, she turns it, turns things around a little bit, but that now Renee going for that hair again, backing Christy James into the corner. Forearm shot there. What a division here in SWE Fury. We saw a battle royal. Uh, we've seen great title defenses for Christy James. We saw, whoa! And we're gonna see a woman's TV champion pretty soon. That's right, the television championship. As announced by Teddy Long, at the behest of Jazz, she called him out and said, hey, you know, there's something that that we need here. We need the same title picture as the men, and guess what? Now, I'm pretty sure Teddy Long went back there, picked up that, that gold cell phone. You know, he has a golden cell phone. Uh, and he made the call to order that title just as soon as that segment ended last week. And I, and I, I imagine uh, here before too terribly long, we're going to be able to start seeing uh, women compete for that television title. Wow, look at the strength of Christy James. That surprises me. She's very strong. Because wouldn't you say they're pretty equal in weight? Yes, definitely. And then, you know, standing up out of that, she took a little risk there herself as uh, she uh, took a little damage to the arm, which is what Renee Michelle had a hold of. I guess that's what you have to be to be champion. Take chances. That she did, ducking that kick there. That looked like a Brazilian jiu-jitsu move, did it? Yeah, it did. What would that have been? A kick, old-fashioned kick to the face. A good old-fashioned kick to the face. <laughs> Christy Jane's not above going for some good old-fashioned kicks to the face here when, when uh, the situation arises. There she goes into the corner. Wow! Driving the knee into the face of Renee Michelle. She might require a little dental work after that one. Christy Jane's going up now to the top rope as Renee Michelle stumbles, dunks. Look at that sunset flip. She rolls out. Little boot to the back of the head there, but now Christy's going for the pin. One, two is all it's good for. Man, what a great match. 
if you've ever been the kind of person that that thinks that women's action is somehow lower on the card for some reason you're wrong especially about the women's division here in SWE Fury we've seen women's division main events here on the show we're seeing now the women's title be defended here in a very competitive very hard-hitting match these women in SWE Fury don't mess around oh some nice moves and a pin now from Renee Michelle it's a count of only two this time Frustration on the face of Renee. She seems to have Christy James right where she wants her. What's it going to be as she grabs a hold of the hair, shoves the head away? Whoa! Oh. Christy does get up. And from my vantage point, couldn't tell. I guess that was a forearm shot. Yali Sapphire didn't call anything. Whoa! Drop her right on the back of the neck. Two, three, and Christy James retains the title. I'm gonna ask you something. Again, was that a close fist? Well, I think they're learning how to get away with stuff, Bob. I, uh, I am not the referee. I was not at an angle where I could see. It seemed to have the impact of said close exactly. fist, but. Referee didn't call it, so it might as well not have been. She's still down. It's so great to see Christy James celebrating with the kids in the ring. And, uh, you know, that was a great match there. But I tell you what, coming up later on, we have that Lumberjack Strap match. The brutal of all brutal matches. I mean, you're already in a, in a match where you're getting beat with a leather strap in the ring. But if you happen to roll out of the ring, you're going to be beat with multiple leather straps. Uh, I think these guys are getting to a point where something doesn't happen soon. One of them is not going to be in the wrestling business very much longer. Uh, it may be both. It's always been extremely brutal anytime those two guys get anywhere in the same building as each other. Coming up here in just a moment, Kaz XL is going to be here. He's facing off tonight against the Vampire Warrior Gang Grill. That's all coming up tonight right here on SWE Fury. We're in Irving, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. What, what, what the hell was that? Did you hear that? What the hell? Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Get over here and look at this. Minute. We need cameras wait, wait. over here. There's something going on. That I just heard something like blow up behind us out here, behind the announce table. And it's, it's Moonshine Mantel and Max Castellano. Well, he's, he's got the monitor. He's got the monitor. Tony is trying to save him. Where? using him. Oh, oh, God. He hit him wait with a the minute. monitor. This is out of control hey, here right now. Teddy, step in, stop this. Stop you gotta, it. Hey, stop. Don't this, put where's Teddy. The, where's the officials? This we got to stop going, this. Don't this, put Teddy on in the middle going, of this. Hey, I'll put Teddy in the middle because this is going way too far. This don't is put going, him in the middle. Oh, green. God. He just broke a freaking TV over his back. Oh, the, the, don't oh. do this. Do oh. not do this. Castellanos has his head precariously in that chair. What is he going to do here? Please don't do this. Don't do Off with his head. Please. He's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Wait a minute, Mantel. Coming from underneath. To use it. Hey, I hate to say it, but throw it at him. Oh. Yeah. What does he have here? What does he have? A glass? Is that a glass? What? Wasn't there. What is Wait, what is no, this? No, no, that's, no. A, that's a that's bottle of bleach. That's clean. Oh, he's spraying oh, 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 his eyes. Oh. He's spraying oh. the bleach in his eyes. Oh. Do we not have anybody who can stop this thing? What is that? D do you see that? Castellano has got that lighter fluid. What is he doing with it? Oh, no. Hey, no. 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 He's got a lighter. He's got a lighter. It's lit. Oh, 
Oh, security! Security is in! Security is in! Okay. Mantel is now up on the ring. Hey, look out! Massive dive! This is out of control. Stop it right now. Hey, man. So I tell you, in Irving, Texas, next month, you and this man will go one on one in a strap match. I'll make it happen. Whoa! Whoa! WWE Fury in solid in ring competition. Unleash the Fury every week right here. From Santa Cruz, California. He weighs in at 250 pounds. He is the the Vampire Warrior, Jane Grill, and we are joined by the leader of the Rabbit Empire, Nigel Rabbit. Nigel, your thoughts on Jane Grill? I think Jane Grill is a very fascinating uh, creature. <laughs> That's one way to put it. You know, I've never been a believer in vampires, but I'm starting to believe that uh, Gangrel could be because he looks better now than he did 15 years ago. He found the, at least found the fountain of youth. The man doesn't age, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, as I understand it, rather regular imbibements of blood does that kind of thing. I mean, for God's sake, historically, Elizabeth Bathory, that's how she stayed young and beautiful, was bathing in blood. Yeah. Not obviously, terribly sanitary, but... Obviously, you've never done it. That's the way to turn into a giant scab. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, you clean up after the fact. Oh. a big surprise, and big surprise was right. Kaz XL is here in SWE Fury, and Melina's the one that brought him. You know, I think this is the first time that Big Cass is going to be tested, because Gangrel got something to prove. He's going to still get gas in the tank. Well, I certainly wouldn't uh, cut the Vampire Warrior short. Although, if we tried to cut Kaz XL short, he'd probably have another six feet left. <laughs> Man's humongous. That he is, and there's Melina, proud of her acquisition here and who she's bringing to the fight here in SWE Fury. Of course, it's going to be real hard for these fans to pick. You know, we're looking at uh, stars of really two different eras here yes. in the ring. I mean, these guys had, had have gone to the pinnacle of wrestling stardom. And they're here in SWE Fury to continue their careers. And, and you're looking at really two different generations there facing off tonight in the ring. And the fans, I believe, are pretty evenly split about who, who they want to see win this one. Yeah, and I think it goes along age lines, Bob, don't you? I think that Gangrel's got the old age group wanting him to pa uh, keep the torch. And the younger age group wants him to pass it. Well, I don't know about passing the torch. I don't think vampires like fire. No, I'm, I'm not sure. No. You got to be real careful about that there. You Look at that. Didn't I mean, expect uh, Kaz XL to uh, be in, a, uh, in, in, in the short position. No, I didn't either. And that's why I said this is going to be an interesting match because he still, like I said, has a lot in the tank. A lot of wrestlers may bring some, you know, foreign object like brass knuckles or something like that to the ring. I bet you Kaz has garlic in his pocket. <laughs> garlic necklace. 
No, no. Oh, uh, garlic bread. As I, as I understand it from uh, uh, Lost Boys, once you invite a vampire into your home, uh, uh, all traditional methods of, of warding him off is null and void. Oh, great. And we invited Gangrel, well, so none of that. Well, it's just a stake through the heart, that's it. From what I've heard, you've invited a lot of vampires into your house. Well, that's I mean... Weird how this discussion has changed from the match to... <laughs> Avoidance of vampires, but you know when you're talking about someone like a grill, that's very necessary Wow nice move. Oh James wow. little Good. bit of slarity from the vampire Warwick duck out of the way and look at his boots and oh. Whoa. Oh, Big elbow right there to the massive chest of Boy, he's moving smooth tonight. You could say he drove his stake through the heart of big Jan. Very or good. XL. Very good. I'm a fan. I like it. That's good. Gangrel back out of here. I've never seen Kaz since he's come here push to this limit. Never see him have to get up off of his knees if he didn't go down. Oh, big oh. boom. Maybe we spoke too soon. There go those fangs. Someone are gone. Someone check the sole of Kaz's boots. If Think there's fangs in there, Gangrel will need them back. Yes. Those elbow drops falling from six feet, seven feet high, and then landing right smack in the chest of Gangrel. You know, you can teach a lot of things in wrestling, but you can't teach size. No, especially not that size. No. When have we ever seen an athlete, though, in professional wrestling, the size, but also as fit? as Kaz XL. No, no. And Bob, I'm going to go one step further, and as Agile. Yes. No, I, see, I think we said this, what, uh, two weeks ago? Kaz XL is in tremendous shape. Probably the best looking big man of the business. And he, he just gets better all the time, and God, I hate him for it. <laughs> oh! I think that's it. Gangrel, oh, wow! Gangrel has still surprises me. I mean, most guys, that would have been an easy way to go back to the dress room. You put up a good fight. Go on, Gangrel. Let's see what you can do here. Gangrel hanging in there as Kaz works to try to cinch that. Guys, that, if he can minute. push Gangrel, oh, he's grabbing his pants. If he can push Gangrel another five minutes, He's got a real, oh, oh, oh wow. Ooh. Massive leg. I don't know that kitchen sinks are uh, necessarily normally effective against vampires, but that one looked, looked particularly deadly. Two. Come on, Gangrel. With every last bit of vampire blood in his veins, he kicked out of that one there. Right at two and three quarters, oh. jeez. Okay. That just looked like it just sparked anger in the eyes of Gangrel. Wow. Gangrel. Oh, oh, oh hey, wow. wait a minute, Bob. That no, wait, that was that was what? a uh, that was what? what that little what? thrust what? there. That's <laughs> what? No, that was not. I, I actually did see that one. That was not. Alex Moraz just made the right call there. Okay. And did open split second. What is he? What is he signaling for here? I think oh, he's no. signaling for the joke slam. No, 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 no. Not the up and down. No, thank oh, you. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nobody home when that elbow came crashing down. Wow. A little scary there. A shot of Gangrel. That's oh. oof. Kaz running right into that elbow. Gangrel says, here, have another. Ducks the clothesline, comes back, delivers one of his own, and takes the big man down. Come on, Gangrel. Drive a stake through his heart. The Vampire Warrior here. Ooh. Look at that. Look, Beautiful look at that. reverse. Wow. wow, wow. Good move. Whoa. Float over. Whoa. 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 I'm surprised he was able to sweep the leg of that big man. And get a two count. Sometimes the easiest, easiest tree to chop down is the biggest. They are more top heavy, I suppose. We get a shot of Melina there. We saw her looking on. 
cheering on and encouraging Kaz XL here tonight. Oh, oh White oh, runs oh, right oh. out of that top of that corner post. Wait, she's up on the apron. He tells her, wait, I've got it. Wait a minute, Gangrel comes in. Wait, he's going for it. He's signaling like he's gonna give her, give him a DDT, oh. but now Molina's up on wait the ring minute. apron. And wait a minute, what, what happened? What was that? What happened? What was that? He got distracted. Got distracted. Hey, got distracted. She, Molina, up on the apron just to distract Gangrel. And uh, Kaz XL cheated. Well, Did you see that? Uh, now, wait a minute, I Nigel. think it was lapse of judgment on Gangrel. Lapse of judgment on Gangrel. She gets down, gets back up. Wait no, a minute, no, Gangrel. No, 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 no. Gangrel's this woman back. cheated. What is he doing? He's is sullied. He doing? His arm's like he won. What is Kaz he doing? Kaz XL has been sullied. What is this? What is Gangrel doing back in the ring, holding his arms up like he oh, oh, wait whoa. a minute. He, he just blew. He just spit all that blood on Molina. I think he was aiming for Kaz. I don't know. But Completely justifiable in my Where clear does that vision. To do with anything? Absolutely. What do you mean? I'm she got so down. Sure she got back up. She was he in. Is going for this. Doesn't Whatever matter. Whatever he did, there was a reason. Kaz XL used Molina to manipulate Gangrel. Well, it's certainly the way it looks on the surface there as Gangrel makes his exit. He didn't exactly oh, win, but... She's not happy. I think no. she's blaming Kaz. Oh, no. that, that outfit's ruined. Yeah. That's very hard to get the blood out of anything. I know. If she gets pulled over tonight, she may be a murder suspect if they see all that blood on her. And now... I'm leaving. Got, I've got some phone calls to make. You got to, well, wait a minute. What's no. the number for Irving Police Department? I think it's 911. No, 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 no. That's my mother's number. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here live in the building, you're taking care of a little business in the rain. We want to take care of a little business and talk to James Beard, our director of talent relations here. And uh, James Beard coming up here in just a little bit. That main event here of the evening uh, where we're going to see the Lumberjack Strap Match. Uh, what is it going to take to end this thing between Mantell and Castellanos? You guys have pulled out all the stops here tonight. Man, I have no idea what's going to take to end this thing I end tonight. Uh, you know, they're going to be tied together. Hopefully, they'll stay in the ring. They've got guys around the ring with straps to try to keep them in the ring. Uh, you know, I don't know what else we can do. You know, maybe maybe tonight will be the answer. I hope so. But short of giving everyone in the audience guns or something, I don't know what you're going to do. But that's, I mean, you're pulling out all the stops here tonight. Maybe finally this will be the one. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. Yeah, because there's been so much damage, James. Uh, the series of matches we've talked about eye injury, back injuries, concussions. How much longer it can go on before someone sends to the hospital? Well, you know, I, I did a did a podcast a couple of weeks ago with, with Max, and uh, you know, I was telling him that I remember, and you'll remember this, uh, Tommy Wildfire Rich and Buzz Sawyer. Right. Those guys almost ruined their careers because they just couldn't get away from each other. Yep. You know, they, they, they fought and fought and nearly, this, it, it, was, it was almost too intense. Well, uh, we're going to see if this is successful in getting them away from each other. It's our main event tonight, and uh, they're uh, making the introductions right now as the Lumberjacks make their way to the ring. That's what we've been waiting for, man. SWE Fury is solid. In ring competition. Unleash the fury every week right here. Oh, they job. all have a strap. They're coming in through the entrance and going and standing around the ring. If one of these guys should venture out of the ring, they'll know and they'll handle it. But, you know, I, I, I tell you, these guys are kind of in danger themselves because you get around these two. Everybody in the building's in danger when these guys get together. Like a couple of wild bulls. You know, when the last last week we were down in 
Belton, Texas, in a rodeo arena and was live bull riding. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure that that was uh, any less dangerous than this. But, you know, these guys are something else. Making his way to the ring from Mexico City, Mexico. He is El Chinga de Texas. This is Max. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring from Georgetown, Texas. He is 100 proof. Ryan Mantel! Just a couple weeks out from nearly being lit on fire in Canton, Texas in that bull rope match. Up against Max Castellano, who at some point had put lighter fluid and a lighter under the ring and, and tried to set Mantel on fire. Well, at least Mantel has two eyes to work with this time. And he blinded him. Blink to the eye. Before that, a television set across the back before that. Mantel has a piercing glare on Max Castellano, a man who lives the high life in Mexico, but comes here to make life miserable for Ryan Mantel. I don't think a chair is a part of this match, if I, if I remember right. No, but uh, that would be a custom chair with uh, the initials of Max Castellanos on it. I, I didn't know he had his own line of chairs. Kevin, have you ever been in a strap match? I, I know you probably have. I, I have, and it's very dangerous. I was in a few of Wahoo McDaniels and the Great Dusty Rhodes, but these guys are Whoa. Pretty, Oh! This one is underway as Mantel clobbers Castellanos over and over, and you were saying, Kevin Sullivan, sorry for the reaction there, but that, that was, this thing started. That's okay. I mean, that's. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. They're, they're outside the ring. Strapped. Here they come. Oh, no. Those, those guys outside the ring, the lumberjacks, they're trying to do their job. And, and those guys are almost working like a team. Maybe that's the problem. They're mirror images of one another. And Mantel having no part of it here. As now they're out in the crowd, the Lumberjacks haven't done their job because now these guys are out across the building again. Well, this got out of hand in a hurry. We'll try to get some light uh, back in here so that we can... Oh. Good grief. We're trying to get some light now, and then here comes... The guys are back up near the ring again. The, uh, the Lumberjacks are standing by with their straps. The Lumberjacks look frozen. Yeah, now they're oh, using no. them on they're using them on Mantel. They didn't even try on Castellano. What the heck? Oh, they're whipping him like a dog. Oh man. Now wait a minute. Castellano got into that ring, went right through those Lumberjacks, and they didn't even touch him. Who picked these Lumberjacks? That's a good question. I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I just answered. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Most of these guys, I believe, are, are, are students, it looks like. 
first year guys. What happened to the strap that was supposed to be attached? Well, that's, that's what I'm, I was sitting here wondering. I thought this was supposed to be tied together and they, they haven't even done that. Sidewalk slam there. Castellanos goes in for a pin of only two. And uh, the Lumberjacks are the only ones with strap right now. Obviously, rules don't mean a lot to these two guys. So I don't know, Kevin. It looks like to me there may be just one answer for this. They do something tonight. I think, I think they both said, let's fight it out. We don't need a strap to be strapped together. Oh, boy. Mantell out of the way, causing damage to the knee there of Castellano. Oh, he's full force. He, uh, he landed wrong on that knee there. Wait a minute. He's just, this, they're trying to, Trying to signal there's an actual injury here. You need to you need to pay attention there. We have a medic in the ring right now who's trying to ascertain what exactly happened to Castellano's knee. Trying to signal for medical help as the crowd shouts, let them fight. I hate to see it end like this. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, this, this it's almost hit that climatic, isn't it? It James? would be a shame, yeah, really. The, uh, the medic there throwing up a sign that we need to get medical help out here. Referee Carl Knight trying to explain to Mantell that we need to give him time here, figure out what's going on and where where is everybody? Don't we need some help out here? I've got to wonder if, if the roles were turned around. Hey, wait oh, a minute. Wait, no! Oh. Uh, well, miracle of miracles, the guy's back on his feet all of a sudden. Cassiano! He was faking the whole time. Oh my goodness. What a snake. Oh! Jeez! Oh, oh! I know what that feels like. That Kevin. steel chair right square on top of the head of Ryan Mantel. The trickery of Max Castiano here in our main event tonight. Lumberjack strap match. I got That's hit not like a strap. That. I got hit like that with a chair in Japan one time, and and I couldn't hear for a week. James, this is a lumberjack strap match. Doesn't say anything about chairs. Oh, well, that's exactly right. Mantel looks to be out. Oh no! Oh, now oh. there's the strap. Great, perfect timing. Now the Mantel can't do anything to defend himself. I don't think he has an idea about putting it on the, on the wrist, though. It looks like he's just going to use it. He's just going to use it. You know, James, it's like this has gone to a point where one of their careers, like you said about Buzz and, and Tommy, their careers are never going to be the same. Bob, this is like Ali Frazier. Not the three yeah. fights didn't help yeah, their yeah. careers, right? No, not at all, no. After that, maybe one of them the same. And then that's what you wonder about. He's, and it's a shame because most of these guys are young guys. Oh. Uh, he's he's using future. the buckle. Ah, he's using the buckle on the head of Mantell. He used it. Oh, and he's lacerated the kid. Oh, my goodness. Shouldn't we uh, stop this? Or? Hey. Well, we want this thing to end. Let's let it do what it does and get out of here. Mantel spitting now, Castellano. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here watching this and, and, and thinking, uh, what would I do if I were the referee in this match? What would you do? Yeah, well, honestly, I, I, I think Carl is trying oh, to no. get him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. There's, there's a point to where you've just got to stop it somehow. But, yeah. But, but then again, if, if, you, if you just ring the bell, what's he, if you think Max is going to stop? No. Nothing has been able to stop these guys yet. And I don't think a, a somebody playing with a bell is going to help. Oh. oh! Oh, my goodness. Don't you have to stop it now, James? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I think you would have to. You use those lumberjacks or something besides just standing around. Get those guys separated and, and maybe, yeah. maybe to fight again some other day. I don't know. Something about... These lumberjacks seems to be real one-sided here, James. Oh. As they go to beating now. 
It, it does appear to be a little fishy, Kevin. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they need to just stop the match, James. This, this kid ain't coming back. Referee Carl say, Knight doesn't seem to be making any effort to do that, Kevin. And I hate to say this, this may be the end for the road for Mantell. But we've thought that before. We thought it when yeah. he was hanging on that, that ring post. We thought it whenever he got bleep sprayed in his eyes. We thought it when that television was busted over his back. We've thought it over and over and over again, and he keeps oh. coming back. Well, that's, a, that's one way to make a comeback right there. That'll slow things down on Mantell quite a bit. Uh, might might ensure there are no Cassiano children down the line either. I guess I guess uh, Mantell can take advantage of this no DQ thing too. You know he will, and you know he has. Mantell definitely worse for wear right now as he tries to use that top rope to gain. Can he get up? His footing. He's these lumberjacks around the ring. We may have counted him out a little too soon. Mantell showing a lot of heart staying in this one. Yes, he is. Oh, a couple of tough guys, man. I mean, whatever you think about them, they're both a couple of tough guys. Absolutely, both of them definitely tough guys here. But, you know, we, we, we how much punishment can these guys dish out to each other? I mean, they, they've... They've used every, well, I would say every hole, but no, they, they don't they don't put people in holes oh, very much. Oh, no. now there goes the referee. Oh, no. That probably wasn't a wise move no. there. That no. Referee Carl Knight is out now, a no. punch from Mantell. That, that may cost him some money. Soda Hendricks in to check on Carl Knight. Uh, hopefully, you no, know, there goes, he's rolling him out of the ring. Is Hope he taking the, over? I don't know, here he comes. Soda Hendricks is in there. No, wait a minute. Now he's a uh, spinebuster on Soda Hendricks. Well, this is this is out of character for Mantel. Yeah. Was he even paying attention to who he hit, I though? I don't think he cares. Can, can, can he even think? Is Stop. Belgar. Stop it. Belgar. Wait, wait a minute. minute. Wait a minute. Here comes Teddy. Stop this right now. Teddy Long is here. Man, check on those guys. What's going on? Stop this right now. Teddy Long is stopping the match? Don't no. tell me nothing about any of I tell you what. Let me step in here and get this off straight now. The boss is here. Now, this has to come to an end, all right? You two guys got to stop it. Come in here, Rip. Get in here and get control. So I tell you what I'm going to do, Max. And I'm telling you what I'm going to do, Moonshine. One more. One more match is what I'm going to give you. And this will be the end. So next month, May the 22nd, right here in Dallas, at Eddie Dean's Ranch, you two will meet for the last time in a steel cage match. That's what oh! we're going to have. Oh! Oh! People like that, I And in that steel cage, there must be a winner. And the loser, I don't care what happens to him.